Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Hello, everybody. This is Andy Smith, your host with the most 31-year veteran of the comic book industry. Yes, that is me. 31 years in the business, drawing for Marvel, DC, Image, Acclaim, Valiant, CrossGen, and more. Now doing my own thing, Astonishing Comics. Check out Core Draft. You saw the trailer. It is fantasy, D&D, &D, Conan, He-Man, all bundled up. You're going to love it. Trust me. Go check it out. Support the campaign. It's because of guys like you with your support that allow me to do these creator own books. On to today's book look Wally Wood Sketchbook, another sketchbook uh, published by Vanguard, which is uh, David Spurlock's company. Um, they put out great books. They still do, not as frequent as they used to. This is a sketchbook series. I have a couple more of these to do. Uh, Wally Wood, one of the one of the best artists when he was working, um, came up with so much cool stuff. Did you know he designed the red costume Daredevil currently sports? Daredevil's original costume was yellow, red, and, and, and black because the red was kind of indicated dark with blacks and then colored red. And Wally Wood came up with the sleek red costume. Wally Wood was born, uh, I think it was June June 17th, 1927, I believe. And he unfortunately did not lead that healthy of a life. And, and uh, they say after midnight on November 1st, so Halloween night, he, uh, he took his own life. Um, he had kidney problems and other health issues. He did not want to live on dialysis, they say. And his neighbor... Uh, calling the police when she couldn't get a hold of him on November 3rd. They went to his apartment, got inside, and saw uh, Wally, I believe, on a couch with a gun by him and a, uh, a wound in his temple. So he obviously ended his own life. He was only 54, which blows my mind considering uh, that's only a couple years older than me and for what this guy has, you know, brought to the industry. Anyhow, the book opens up with a nice introduction by Bruce Tim. Uh, Bruce Tim loves Wally Wood. You can see a little bit of the influence in the women. Love this drawing that Bruce did. 
uh, Thunder Agents, one of Wally Wood's greatest creations, if you ask me. A uh, little brief Steranko on Wally Wood. Oh, here we go. June 17th, 1927. I was right. Um, so uh, Jim Steranko, a wonderful artist in his own, and uh, talking about Wally Wood. I love seeing sketches like this. Sketchbooks are like, to an artist, like a cookbook to a chef. You open it up and you're seeing the ingredients that make a great artist. Ooh, look at that analogy. Uh, Thunder Agents cover layout by Wally. I mean, uh, I don't, he says layout. I look at this like, man, that's, that's pencils, baby. I can ink that. Uh, another layout. I, like I said, I love the Thunder Agents. Um, Thunder Agents came out from Tower in 1966. I believe that was Wally's company. Uh, this book was published, by the way, in 2000. Just lots of great sketches, behind the scenes stuff, a lot of information about Wally as well. I do have another book about Wally called uh, Wally's World, which is a lot thicker. Um, it's also uh, published by Vanguard, and it really is a good biography that really dives deeper. This book isn't that thick, it's only 100 pages. Um, so this is like tip of the iceberg compared to Wally's world. I love this original cover layout for Daredevil number seven. Once again, this is the red costume. That's just so cool. Wally, of course, was a great cartoonist. So he could do the nice cartoony stuff as well. I thought his designs were really nice. I mean, they're, you know, for the time period. I mean, obviously you look at this now and you go, well, that's a retro design. Yes, but the time period, that was cutting edge. Awesomeness. So like I said, lots of artwork in this. I love this breakdown of a page for Thunder Agents. Um, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't say uh, what issue, but I recognize it. Actually, I've got the hardcover compilation and a few single issues. I love seeing the figure construction and stuff there. He's a big Flash Gordon Buck Rogers guy. He did his own uh, magazine for a while called Wit's End. And there's some nice stuff in there by him and other people. Those are hard to come by. And a little pricey as well. So This is great. I believe he was the designer behind Hellcat. Here's what I love about this is from a how to draw standpoint, you can really see the basic shapes of the torso and the waist box. Very classical uh, breakdown of how to draw the figure from that time period. I like these two. These are a couple of my favorites. Uh, uh, here you go, buddy. Pay. Oh, nice little uh, back pocket pay. Look at this. This is very uh, Scott Young looking. Scotty Young, but it's uh, Wally Wood. See that? I'm not quite sure what is on her face. Love this super cartoony stuff. And of course, Wally Wood did. Uh, uh, this is uh, above and below sci fi. This, is, this face is just great. In fact, that right there. I know Bart, my buddy Bart Sears is a big uh, Wally Wood. Um, he really likes his work as well. He's a big Wally Wood fan. And that looks so Bart to me. The eyes, that simple nose, and the way the mouth goes. Wally did great parody stuff. He did uh, in Mad Magazine, he did Super Duper Man. Uh, here we have his Prince Violent for Mad Magazine. So he wasn't just a comic book guy, but he did great humor work as well. He also did a book called uh, Sally Forth that really showed off his uh, drawing skills for the ladies. Uh, this is uh, concept stuff for... Ralph Bakshi that he did.
nice uh, novel cover paintings and the layouts for him. Wally, if you look at Kevin Nolan too, Kevin Nolan uh, is a big fan of Wally Wood and you can see it in his lighting, the way Kevin does lighting. You can see it in the way Kevin does some machinery and stuff as well. Uh, Wally did some great sci-fi covers and just the design work on them was beautiful. Dragonella, another uh, cool concept here. Very nice. You can see, look at that. That's very Bruce Tim in the face and the body right there. So it's cool to see this stuff and see the artists that were influenced by Wally. Wally's work. Wally Wood. Wally's work. Wally. More great cartoon stuff. His, his sense of lighting and gray tones was always really nice. Fireball XL5. Just this. I mean, come on now. Look at some of Scotty Young's stuff and tell me he's not influenced by Wally Wood. Yeah, he is. I say yes. Beautiful figure here. Bud Root, my buddy Bud Root, also likes Wally Wood's work a lot <clears throat> as well. I mean, this is one of those guys like Frazetta that could do it all. He could do, you know, realistic type stuff. He could paint. He could do great cartoony work. It's just such a shame that he uh, ended his life at such a young age. When I first read uh, about Wally Wood and, and reading how he, he killed himself when he was only 54, I was in my 20s, and I was like, whoa. And now that I'm only a couple years younger, I'm like, oh, that's Wally. What are you doing? You're young. Like he said, he self suffered from health issues and was depressed. Here's some cool character design stuff for Daredevil that he did. Matt Murdock. Um, yeah, that's got to be. Is that Karen Page? Uh, yep, and Karen Page. This is cool seeing the, the costume design stuff he did. Love the way he puts the blacks on the costume. Like I said, that's very Kevin Nolan looking. The breakdown of how the Billy Club works, very well thought out. And uh, yep, Foggy Nelson right there. Cool Submariner layouts for that issue of Daredevil. This is what I mean by his tech. His tech for that time period was pretty revolutionary. And you can see, uh, well, I, th oh my God, somebody's going to have to check me on this. Fact check needed on Isle Andy. I can't remember if Frazetta came up with this style of technical stuff first and then Wood took it and expanded on it or vice versa. Uh, if you fact check me, I'm going to say Frazetta did it first. Fat checkers, powers, activate. Of course, there is this interview. I should have brought that out sooner with uh, with uh, Wally Wood that was conducted. Let me see if it's, I'm sure it says when this interview was conducted. So, sorry for buzzing past that. Uh, that's, hold on. Come on. I was so into the artwork. So that's Joe Orlando interview. When does the Wally one start? That's the Orlando. Let's see. That's the Joe Orlando. Um, maybe it just started. Oh, there we go. The Wally Wood interview only started a couple pages back. So I didn't miss much. Thank you for as I went backwards. This reminds me of stuff Alex Toth was doing at the time as well. 
There it is. I bet this says, Wally was a great guy. A lot of laughs. My Buck Roger covers is typical of, of Wood as a compliment. So Frazetta pays homage to Wood and teases him. So I was, uh, I said, Frazetta, damn it. Fact check. Wrong, Smith. You are a fool. Wally did come up with this tech first. And then Frazetta's like, nice tech, Wally. Let me show you what I can do. And this is Frank Frazetta. And just talking about Kevin Nolan, one of my other favorite artists, uh, you can see the influence on the lighting and the rendering style that uh, Frazetta had on Kevin Nolan. Uh-oh, boobages. Boobages alert, boobages alert, boobages alert. So this is still an interview with Wally. This is, another, this is an animation self or artwork proposal for uh, what Wally was going to do with Ralph Bakshi. More great cartooning stuff. And then this is an interview with Len Brown. So there's interviews with different people. Joe Orlando, uh, Jim Stranko, Wally, of course. Al Williamson interview. This is a piece by the great Al Williamson. Just another fantastic artist. I've done a book look on Al Williamson before, so you can go back and check that out at my past videos. Some presentation art. This is done by uh, Al Williamson with inks. Or wait, this is drawn by Wally Wood and inked by Al Williamson. Very freaking cool. Very cool. And Sky Masters. Sky Masters. This book didn't touch on Sky Masters at all. But Sky Masters was a newspaper strip that Jack Kirby drew and Wally Wood inked. And you want to talk about a combination when you think of it going, that'll never work. Well, it's you can see Kirby-isms in the strip, but it's mostly Wally. That's for sure. So anyhow, this is the Wally Wood sketchbook. Uh, thank you for joining me as we look through it. Go get it if you're a fan of Wally Wood. If not, learn about him. This is a fantastic book. Uh, probably have to get it on eBay since it's 22 years old. Uh, thank you once again. Another book look will be coming up as always. And until that time, like, subscribe, share the channel, and please uh, go back, pre-order your copy of Cordrath, The Reckoning, Barbarian Fantasy at its best. Get a kick-butt t-shirt as well. All right, guys. Thank you, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.